Hey guys, Matt from Ours. So today I'm doing a video on repairing clear cut. As you can see, the clear cut on this vehicle is in very poor condition. I'm going to show you a step by step process on how you can repair the home and it won't cost a lot of money. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do using some soapy water is wash down the fender and remove any dirt or debris. Okay, so now we've got some 800 grit sandpaper and we're going to start sanding down the worst of the damage. Okay, so as you can see there's still a ridge left behind. It's important that this ridge is completely sanded away and is invisible before we move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm just rubbing my finger over where the ridge was previously. You can't actually feel the ridge anymore, so now it's good enough to move on to the next step. Okay, so we just cleaned it down with a microfiber towel. Now we're going to use 1500 grit sandpaper uh, to sand down the rest of the fender. Again, we're going to take our microfiber cloth and we're going to clean down the entire fender. Okay, so you could wait for the fender to dry, but I'm going to use a heat gun there to speed the process up. Okay, so it's important to check little areas like this where water could be hiding. Make sure there's no water trapped anywhere in along here or in along any rubbers. Uh, that way it can't come back out onto the surface when you're painting. Okay, so next we're going to get some masking tape and we're going to mask up the entire area ready for paint. Okay, so the clear coat is so bad on this truck that I've had to get base coat mixed up and also this is the 2K clear coat we'll be using. Sometimes you can get away with just using clear coat and it'll cover a lot of the damage but in this case mine is so bad that we've had to get the base coat mixed up so it'll be going on before the clear coat. Okay, so here I'm giving a quick rub of attack rag before I put the base coat on. And just a light coat of base coat. I don't want to go too far down the fender here. There is a chance that the shade could be different. Just getting a heavy enough coat to cover the areas where the clear coat was peeling. Okay, so the base coat colour should have a dull but uniform finish. Uh, in this case, I think it was a wise choice because if we had clear coated only over this, I don't think the results would have been good. Okay, so this is the clear coat we're going to be using. Uh, it's a 2K clear, gives a high gloss finish and is extremely scratch resistant. After 24 hours, it can be mechanically polished and gives a very tough, superior gloss finish. Okay, so we're going to tack rag the panel down one more time just to make sure no dust has settled on it and then we're going to put on the clear. We're going to put on one light clear coat first and then we're going to wait for about five minutes and put on a second uh, heavier coat.
Okay, so the second coat is dry there now. It's a nice deep shine on it and even finish as well. Uh, especially from a spray can, I would say it's pretty, pretty good results. Uh, now it's time to remove the mask and we'll just bring it outside and see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is guys with all the masking removed. Nice even shine on it. From an aerosol can I'd say it's pretty good results. Here's a good contrast as well. The clear coat was badly peeled along the top of the fender. Now it's all repaired. It's a pretty easy process and you can do it at home. It doesn't cost a lot of money. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.